Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Storm system continuing to produce some showers for us. And in the upper level system that's on top of us, there's a lot of cold air aloft causing a little bit of instability across the area, especially in the western part. And you can see we had a couple of lightning strikes. Not surprising. Uh, even reports of even some pea sized hail briefly from these thunder showers in Oconee County, but now they've since weakened, uh, still producing some heavy rain as they slide down into parts of Anderson, Western Anderson, and right over Lake Hartwell, basically, and also in Hart County. So, a couple of lightning strikes associated with the front, and then things are starting to quiet down right now. Live Super Doppler 4 HD showing the precipitation. You can see some of the heavier rain right along the Savannah River and then also along the Tennessee and North Carolina line. It's too warm, it's all liquid precipitation. Slight chance of maybe a shower becoming a snow shower along the Tennessee line late tonight as the much colder air starts to spread across the area. In Asheville, we've had a couple of showers, but most of Buncombe County is looking pretty quiet. Some rain showers around Hendersonville, especially in Transylvania County, uh, right around you folks in Brevard, and some of the heavier rain with the northwest flow right along the Tennessee and North Carolina line. Oconee County, still some cells, maybe some couple claps of thunder possible, maybe even some pea sized hail since the freezing level has lowered uh, with this upper level low that's got a little piece of energy in the upper atmosphere. How about a live picture over Lake Hartwell? You can see the rain off in the distance. Uh, we had visibility cut a little bit earlier. Uh, this is in Anderson County, so some pretty heavy rain. Northeastern Georgia, temperatures pretty mild, ranging from 50 in Clayton to 58 degrees in Elberton. 40s and 50s throughout western North Carolina. Cool spot, 46 degrees in Waynesville, also in Burnsville, 52 in Asheville, 50 in Hendersonville, 53 in Columbus. Temperatures in the mid 50s throughout the upstate, uh, 57 degrees in Anderson, but it's 54 in Greenville, 54 Spartanburg, also in Lawrence and in Pickens. Everybody's in the mid 50s, a little bit of a breeze in the northern and central mountains of North Carolina. Humidity levels remaining extremely high. 58 right now in Columbia, 58 in Florence, 58 also in Atlanta. Cold air is really backed up in west of the mountain range. So tomorrow morning, there's our storm system on the back edge. Maybe a little sliver of snow here in. Looks like a southeastern part of Virginia and maybe along the Virginia and North Carolina line. High pressure starts to build in, so we'll start off with some cloudiness, but then the clouds will break up in the afternoon. Uh, breezy conditions, a cool breeze in the upstate and a colder breeze in the mountains. Forecast for tonight then. Showers ending this evening in the upstate, low 41 degrees, 34 degrees for the overnight low in the mountains, with showers also ending from northwest to southeast across the area. In the Asheville, Hendersonville area for tomorrow, mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies, breezy. High temperature about 46 degrees. We'll start off at 35 degrees, at 43 degrees at lunchtime, maybe the upper 40s at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. For the, uh, tomorrow for the Greenville Sparberg Anderson area, morning cloudiness, then partly sunny and breezy in the afternoon. High temperature 57 degrees, starting off at 43. 52 at lunch, not too bad. 57 degrees for the high at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Four day plus looks like this for the Greenville Spartanburg Anderson area. The next couple of days, not too bad that an Arctic front passes by, and really by the end of the week, into the upcoming weekend, a lot of wind and a lot of Arctic cold, especially mm. in the mountains. Oh, boy. Mm. Uh, kind of a double barrel. Two fronts, two Arctic fronts pass by one Not Thursday one, and one over the weekend. Like we go. Yep. John, thanks. thanks.